Elijah has five ropes of different length and color. He needs to know the length of each rope in feet and inches. Complete the table below. In the first row, we have a red rope with a length of four feet. We want to convert four feet to inches. We'll perform the conversion by multiplying by a unit fraction, which is a fraction that's equal to one, but will convert feet to inches. We begin with the given length of four feet. Let's write four feet as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now we multiply by a unit fraction that will convert feet to the desired units of inches. Because the conversion is one foot equals 12 inches, and we want feet to simplify out of this product, we write the units of feet in the denominator and inches in the numerator. Because the conversion is one foot equals 12 inches, the unit fraction is 12 inches over one foot. The units of feet simplify out, and we are left with four times 12 inches, which equals 48 inches, the number of inches in four feet. Looking at this product again, we should be able to recognize the shortcut for converting from feet to inches is to multiply by 12. So when converting from feet to inches, again, we multiply by 12 because each foot is equal to 12 inches. Next, the white rope has a length of 36 inches, which you want to convert to feet. We begin with 36 inches as a fraction with the denominator of one. We multiply by a unit fraction to convert the units from inches to feet. This time we want inches to simplify out, which means for the unit fraction, the units of inches are on the bottom and feet are on the top. Using the conversion, one foot equals 12 inches. Now the unit fraction is one foot over 12 inches. The units of inches simplify out. Now when multiplying, we have 36 over 12 feet. Remember a fraction bar means division. 36 divided by 12 is three. 36 inches equals three feet. Notice how to convert inches to feet. We ended up dividing by 12. So again, 36 inches equals three feet. The shortcut is when converting from inches to feet in this direction, we divide by 12. Again, because 12 inches equals one foot. We will use these two shortcuts for the remaining conversions. In the next row, the blue rope has a length of 11 feet. We want to convert 11 feet to inches. Because each foot is equal to 12 inches, to perform this conversion, we multiply 11 by 12. 11 times 12 equals 132. 11 feet equals 132 inches. The red rope has a length of 180 inches. We want to convert 180 inches to feet. Because we are converting inches to feet, or because 12 inches is equal to one foot, to perform the conversion, we divide 180 by 12. There's 1, 12, and 18, subtract, the difference is six, bring down the zero. There are five 12s and 60, five times 12 is 60, and the difference is zero, showing 180 inches equals 15 feet. And then finally we have the green rope that has a length of three and a half feet. We want to convert three and a half feet to inches. Because each foot is equal to 12 inches, we multiply three and a half by 12 to convert three and a half feet to inches. So we begin with three and a half times 12. Let's write three and a half as an improper fraction. The denominator remains two. The numerator is two times three plus one, which is seven. Let's write 12 as a fraction with the denominator of one. Simplifying before multiplying, there's one, two, and two, and six twos and 12 giving us seven times six, which is equal to 42. Three and a half feet equals 42 inches. For the next question, write an expression that can be used to convert feet to inches. Use the expression to convert 14 and 3 fourths feet to inches. Looking at the table above, we recognized to convert from feet to inches, we multiply by 12. So if we define the variable f to be equal to the given length in feet, we can write an expression to convert feet to inches. So let's let f equal the length in feet, which means the expression to convert feet to inches is 
is f times 12, but f times 12 is normally written as 12f. These two expressions are equivalent, but 12f is much more common. So now if we're given that f equals 14 and 3 fourths, we substitute 14 and 3 fourths for f and evaluate the expression. So we would have 12 times 14 and 3 fourths. Let's write 12 as a fraction with the denominator of 1. And now we'll also and now we'll convert 14 and 3 fourths to an improper fraction. The denominator remains 4. The numerator is 14 times 4, which is 56, plus 3, which is 59. Simplifying before multiplying, there's 1, 4, and 4, and 3, 4 is in 12. For 3 times 59, because 3 times 60 is 180, 3 times 59 is going to be 3 less, which is 177. Which means 14 and 3 fourths feet equals 177 inches. I hope you found this helpful.